Praxis and today is the last kind of dry day that's good for doing siding for a couple of days. We get some rain coming in and I'm taking advantage of it. As you can see it's sunny, it's breezy, it's really good for drying this stuff out and I've been using my time for working on this wall right here. I think when I started this morning I was somewhere around here and I've pushed over and gotten all this done. I had to cut the hole open for the exterior light. It's kind of a weird situation here because According to what we have for our, our rough electrical and our electrical inspection, this is the exterior light right here. There's a switch that turns it on on the inside, and it's just a, a single switch that turns that on. Ultimately, uh, this is not going to be the exterior light because this is inside the greenhouse. The exterior light is going to be out on this side of this wall. And to turn on this light, there's going to be both the light uh, switch on the inside and another light switch over here, which is what these wires are for. So we've got kind of like... We have things set up a certain way for our inspections, but then in short order, we're going to be changing things around. Uh, there are some other wires, well, the other ends of these wires, they kind of all through this wall, kind of come through here. And uh, the light switch is just on the other side of this wall right here. And I've got the wires that come down here and just kind of coiled up. Once we get our inspection, we're moved in and everything, the next step, once we get this stuff done, is that we're going to pull the wires that are in there, replace them with the wires that actually use all this stuff, and... Uh, you know, go that kind of fix everything up after the fact. It's not the most efficient way to work, but instead of us having to ha have had everything done in order to get our rough inspection, uh, and at the moment things still aren't done, we still couldn't have even gotten our rough electrical inspection at this point. Uh, in order to get that rough electrical inspection early, we did it one way and then we're going to change it later on. So when I was putting up all these boards, uh, you're not going to be able to notice on the camera here, but all this, the screws over here, I sink them into the wood a little bit. That really snugs the wood down. Uh, that's the way that I like to do it. Over here, uh, all these screws, these are all just, just enough to push the board in, but I didn't sink them in. And the reason for that is a lot of these boards are going to have to get pulled off. And if you sink the screws in uh, and then you pull the screws back out, the screws kind of splinter the wood out. So all these boards that I anticipate having to remove, uh, and it's just this one, this one, this one, and I may have to kind of loosen this one up a little bit to kind of get that guy out. Uh, it's, just, it's just these, uh, this set right here. Uh, all of these I'm going to have to, you know, be pulling out later on. So I'm working on this. I just got some really good news. It's going to seem kind of lame, uh, you know, with me introducing it that way, but it's, it's kind of awesome. The length of the board uh, above the door is just about exactly 10 feet. So I can use 10 foot boards with only an inch and one eighth uh, of scrap uh, for each one. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I've finished up one of the piles of exterior wall boards. I've got a, a bunch of them just drying out in the sun right now. Uh, and I'm uh, deciding whether to crack into the next one. I don't know whether I want to do that because it's nicely packed right now. Uh, and we got rain coming tonight. Um, my personality is probably su such that I'm gonna crack into it even though maybe it would be more advisable to leave it intact and then just work on that after the fact. But uh, I'm anxious, so I think I'm gonna crack into it anyway. But this is working out really nicely. I just have to continue it all, all along over to there and uh, then do exactly the same thing on the East Greenhouse. That's it. Thanks for watching.